Nomine Parcus et Filia Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In Truibo ad Atari Dei. Miseriatur vestri omnipotens Deus, et misericordis vestris, perducat fos et vitam eterna. Indugentium absolutionum astrorum, tribu ad nobis omnipotens, et misericordis dominus. Deus tu conversis vivificabis nos. Ostende nobis domini misericordium tua. Domini ex audia ratione mea. Dominus Pobiscum, Oremus. Ex audi Domine voce meam, quacum aviate, adjutor meus esto ne de relinquas me, Nequid espicias me, Deus salutaris meus. Dominus illuminatio mea et salus mea, quem tu mebo. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Exaudi Domine voce meam, quacum aviate. Adjutor meus esto, ne de relinquas me, nequid espicias me, Deus salutaris meus. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax aminibus boni voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, Gratias agimus tibi, propter magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens. Domine Fili Unigenite, Iesa Christi. Domine Deus Aeneus Dei, Filius Patris. Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Qui tolis peccata mundi, suscipe deprecationem nostrum. Qui sedis a dexterum patris, miserere nobis. Coniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Jesu Christi, cum sancto spirit, in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Dominus Pabiscum. Ecum 
oremus. Deus qui diligentibus te bona invisibilia preparasti, in fundi cordibus nostris tui amoris affectum, ut te in omnibus et super omnia diligentes promissionis tuas, qui omni desiderium superant consequamur. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Lexio Epistole Beati Petri Epistole, Carissimi, omnis unanimes in oration estote, compatientes, fraternitatis amatores, misericordes, modesti, humiles, non redentes malum pro malo, nec maledictum pro maledicto, sede contrario benedicentes, quia in hoc vocati estis, ut benedictionum hereditati posidiatis, quia in involt vitam lirigere et dies videri bonus, coerciat lingua misuum amalo, et labia eos nilo quanter dolum. Declinat amalo et faciat bonum, inquirit pacem et sequater eam, quia oculi domini super justos, eos in precis eorum, vultus autum domini super facientes mala, et quis ex qui vobis nociat, si boni emulatoris fueritis, sed et si quid patimini propter justitiam beati, timorum autum eorum ne timueritis, et non contra bimini, dominum autum Christum sanctificate in cordibus vestris. Protector nostra aspice Deus, et respice super servos tuos. Domine Deus virtutum, exaudi purchis servorum tuorum. Alleluia, alleluia. Domine in virtute tua letabita rex, et super salutari tuum exultabit vehementer. Alleluia. Dominus Episcum. Sequentia Sancti Evangelii Secundum Matteo. In illo tempore dixit Jesus discipulis suis, nisi abundavere justitia vestra plus quam scribarum et fariseorum, non intrabitis in regnum celorum. Audistis qui edictum est antiquis, non ucidis, qui autum ucideret reus erit judicio. Ego autem dico vobis, quia omnis quia rasit or fratri suo, reos eret judicio. Quia autem dixerit fratri suo, raca, reos eret concilio. Quia autem dixerit fatue, reos eret jehene inius. Si ergo offers monus tuus ad altare, et ibi recordatus furis, quia frater tuus habet aliquid adversum te. Relinque ibi monus tuum ante altare, et vade prius gre conciliare fratri tuo, et tunc veniens offeres monus tuum. The epistle for the fifth Sunday after Pentecost is from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, be all like-minded in prayer, compassionate, lovers of the brethren, merciful, reserved, humble, not rendering evil for evil or abuse for abuse, but contrarywise, blessing. For unto this were you called, that you might inherit a blessing. 
For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek after peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are upon the just and his ears under their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? But even if you suffer anything for justice sake, blessed are you. So have no fear of their fear and do not be troubled, but hallow the Lord Christ in your hearts. Continuation of the reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, amen. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, unless your justice exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that what it was said to the ancients, thou shalt not kill, and that whoever shall kill shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be liable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, Thou fool, shall be liable to the fire of Gehenna. Therefore, if thou art offering thy gift at the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother has anything against thee, leave thy gift before the altar, and go first to be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Thus far the words of today's Holy Gospel, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. A reminder for the men of St. Jude's that St. Jude's Men's Apostolate will be having its men's retreat July the 17th uh, after the Mass on that Saturday in the hall. So that's July 17th. For more details, see Jared Marino or uh, Colin Gordon after the Mass today. As announced last week, America's frontline doctors will favor us with another presentation in the hall today at 12 noon, featuring a private showing of the new documentary film, Seeing 2020, The Censored Science of the COVID-19 Pandemic. Dr. Richard Urso will be the main speaker and will answer questions after the film. Hopefully there will be enough seating for everyone who wants to attend, as there will also be visitors coming to this event today. If seating is insufficient, there will be another showing of the film in a few weeks. And uh, I also wanted to to say that uh, um, sorry. I will go back to the confessional after the Mass. I realize that there are sometimes people who are not able to get there because uh, the line is too long. And uh, we'll have to try to start hearing earlier, I guess. But, or, best of all, ask the Lord for another priest to come to hear confessions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. June is the month of the Sacred Heart, the perfect symbol of the love of Christ. Jesus Christ, the God-man, was perfect in his sacred humanity. Although his human nature was not infinite, since it was a created nature. Our God in his divine nature is infinite. Jesus Christ is both God and man, possessing two natures, the human and the divine. Although his human nature was created, and therefore not infinite, we cannot speak of imperfection when we talk about the sacred humanity of the Son of God. The human nature of Jesus Christ was perfect, although it was not by the power of his human nature that he performed his miracles. It was by the power of his divinity. 
that the winds and the sea obeyed him. Water was changed into wine, the dead were raised, and he himself rose gloriously from the tomb. His power was infinite because he was God, or is God. The love of Christ is symbolized by his sacred heart. When we speak of the love of Christ, we speak of two kinds of love, human and divine. One love, though perfect in itself, is limited because it is created. The other love is infinite because it is divine. Christ loves us with the perfect love of his sacred humanity, but also with the infinite love of his divinity. The sacred heart also symbolizes the Lord's suffering, for he was wounded for our offenses. Isaiah says, and this is in prophecy, surely he has borne our in infirmities and carried our sorrows, and we have thought him as it were a leper, and as one struck by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our iniquities, he was bruised for our sins. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his bruises we are healed. God has always patiently endured the disobedience of his creatures. The Israelites were the chosen people of God, but most of them did not believe. They fell away already at Sinai. Most of the Jewish nation fell away when they encountered the stumbling block, Jesus Christ. Only a remnant recognized him as the Messiah and obeyed him. The chosen people today of God today are those who believe in Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of God and Savior of the world. Jews or Greeks, black or white, rich or, rich or poor, of all nations and peoples. We're reading the Apocalypse. After this, I saw a great multitude which no man could number, out of all nations and tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes and with palms in their hands. And they cried out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits upon the throne, and to the Lamb. Today the Sacred Heart is wounded by the apostasy of the greater part of his church. Where now are the Orthodox bishops, the zealous priests, the heroic missionaries, the faithful laity, and the obedient children? Where now are the great popes and defenders of the faith, like Pius IX, Leo XIII, St. Pius X, and Pius XII, who kept the wolves of modernism at bay and protected the flock of Christ from heresy. Today the flock of Christ is sick unto death with the heretical doctrines of the conciliar popes and theologians. Father Frederick Faber says of heresy, the crowning, disloyal to, lo, the crowning disloyalty to God is heresy. It is the sin of sins, the very loathsomeness of things, which God looks down upon in his mal this malignant world. Yet how little do we understand of its excessive hatefulness? It is the polluting of God's truth, which is the worst of all impurities. Yet how light we make of it. We look at it and we are calm. We touch it and do not shudder. We breathe its odor and show no signs of detestation or disgust. Some of us affect its friendship and some even extenuate its guilt. We do not love God enough to be angry for his glory. We do not love men enough to be charitably truthful for their souls. Sometimes it is difficult to be charitably truthful, but among those who strive to keep the ancient faith of the church, many also fall away because they cannot accept the challenge of the gospel. Our hatred, our anger, our lust, our ambition, our pride, these become our stumbling blocks and we fall from grace. Our golden calf is our desire for sinful pleasure, wealth, worldly power, and fame. What's the good of being right, if indeed we are, if by our hatred and anger we, and vengefulness we lose heaven in the end? Our Lord put it this way, For what does it profit a man if he gain the whole world but suffer the loss of his own soul? Strive for peace with all men, as St. Paul says, and for that holiness without which no man will see God. 
Take heed lest anyone be wanting in the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by it the many are defiled. St. Peter encourages us in today's Gospel, be all like-minded, compassionate, lovers of the brethren, merciful, humble, not rendering evil for evil or abuse for abuse, but contrarywise, blessing. For unto this were you called, that you might inherit a blessing. Our Lord himself offers us these sobering words, unless your justice exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. If you are offering your gift at the altar, he says, and there remember that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift at the altar and go first to be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. And what gift shall we offer? What will God now accept in atonement for the sins of the world? For the law appoints his priests men who are weak, but the word of the, uh, or of the oath which came, came after the law appoints his son who is perfect forever. That's from Hebrews. There is now only one perfect offering, one acceptable sacrifice, the sacrifice of the Son of God himself upon the cross, which he himself renews for us daily in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. The God of justice and of mercy accepts only this in atonement for our sins and the sins of the world. To be united with Jesus Christ, who is both priest and victim, in this one acceptable sacrifice is our only hope and the only hope of the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrum Omnipotentem, Factorem Celi et Terre, Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium, et in unum Dominum Jesum Christum, Filium De Unigenitum, et ex Patri Notum Ante Omnia Secula, Deum de Deo Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum de Deo Vero, Genitum Non Factum, Consubstantia Olim Patri, Percum Omnia Facta Sunt, Qui propter nos homines, et propter nostrum salutem de gendite celis. Et incarnatus est de spiritu sancto ex Maria, et homo factus est. Crucifixus etiam pro nobis, su pancio pilato, passus et sepultus est. Et resurrexit tertiae die secundum scripturas, et ascendit in celum sedat ad exteram patris. Et iterum venturis est cum gloria, judicari vivos et mortuos, cuius renina erit finis. Et in spiritum sanctum, dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patri filio procedit, qui cum patri et filio simul adorator et can glorificator, qui locutus est pro profetas. Et unam sanctum catholicum et apostolicum ecclesiam, Confitior un baptisma in remissione peccatorum, et expecto resurrectione mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus Bobiscum. Oremo. Herpige aggressus meos in semitis tuis, but non moviantur vestigia mea, inclina aurem tuam et exaudi verba mea, verifica misericordias tuas, qui salvos facis perantis in te, Domine.
Sati Fratri. Paramnia secula secularum, Dominus Pabiscum, Sorisum Corda, Gratia Sagamus Domino Deo Nostro, Ferre Dignum et Justum est Decum et Salutari, Nos Tibi Semper, Rubique Gratia Sagere, Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens Eterni Deus. Qui cum unigenito filia tuo, Espirito Santo, unus es Deus, unus es Dominus. Non in unio singularitati personae, sed in unio strinitati substantiae. Quod enum de tua gloria, revelate te credimus, hoc de filio tuo, hoc de Spiritus Santo, sine differentia discretionis in timus. Un in confessione veris in vitrone qui deitatis, et in personas proprietas, et in essencia unitas, et in maestati adorator equalitas, quam laudant angeli ad quae archangeli, cherubim quoque ac seraphim, qui non cessan pecari quotidie, una voce dicente. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Salom, pleni sanceli et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini. Hosanna in excelsis.
nobis quoque peccatoribus. Per, per omnia sequela sequela oremus preceptis salutaribus moniti et divina institutione formati audemus dicere pater noster qui es in celis sancti vicetur nomen tuum adveniat regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua sicut in celo et in terra Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione. Ramnia secula secula. Ex Domini sit semper fubis. Fine your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. I in your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. I in your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Domine non sum dignus. Domine non sum dignus. Domine non sum dignus.
is the reality of us three omnipotence deus, et to miss it because it's best for us, but who God falls at me to return. In urgentium absolutionum et remissionum peccatorum vestorum, tribo et fulvis omnipotence, et misericoris dominus. Ece aegis te, ece qui tolit peccata mundi, Domine non sum dignus, et interest et tectum mea, Satanum de ferbo et senabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, et interest et tectum mea, Satanum de ferbo et senabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, et interest et tectum mea, Satanum de ferbo et senabitur anima mea.
Dominus Pobiscum. Oremus. Quos celesti Domini Donus Atsiasti, presta quesimus, ad a nostris mundimur occultis, et ab ostium liberimur insidius. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivid et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per omnia saecula saeculorum. Dominus Bobiscum, ite misa est. Benedicat fos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus, Dominus Bobiscum, Initium Sancte Evangelii Secundum Ioannem, In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apodeum, et Deus erat verbum, hoc erat in principio apodeum, Omnia per ipsum facta sunt, et sine ipso factum est, nihil quod factum est. In ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux hominum, et lux in tenebris lucid, et tenebris eam non comprehenderent. Fuit homo misis a Deo, quoin omen erat Giovannis. Hec venit a testimonium, et testimonium per abert illumine, et omnis creterent per illum. Non erat ele lux, et a testimonium per abert illumine. Erat lux vera quae illuminat ominum hominum veniant venuc mundum. In mundu erat, et mundus per ipsum factus est, et mundus eam non coniovit. In propria venit, et sui eam non reciparent. Quaut quod autum reciparent eam, de de deus potestatum filios dei fieri, es qui credit in omine eus, qui non ex sanguinibus, neque ex orantate carnis, neque ex orantate viri, sed ex deo nati sunt. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloria meus, gloriam quasi unigenitia patre, plenum gratiae veritatis. <laughs> 